Hello, teacher. Sam. Samantha. Samantha. Mm, my name is teacher Samantha. Let's say my name together. If you have a hard time saying my name, let's just talk, call me Sam. Hello, teacher Sam. Hello, teacher Sam. Right. So Samantha is really hard for you to say, Apple. So you can say teacher Sam. Hello, teacher Sam. Or you can say teacher Samantha, whichever one you can say correctly. I'm okay with. So you can say hello, teacher Sam. Hello, teacher Sam. Hi, Apple. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. And you? I'm great, thank you. What did you do with your day today? Today, did you just, I, did you just get up? Oh. Today I go shopping and uh, wow. eat at a restaurant. Wow. What kind of food did you eat? I eat some soup. <laughs> You ate some soup. Wow. What kind of soup did Apple have? What kind of soup did you have? I drink a seafood soup. So you ate some seafood, uh, seafood uh, soup? Seafood soup? Yes. Wow. Great. Excellent. And you went shopping. What did you go look for? What did you look for it for shopping? I look for some vegetables and oh, food. oh! So you went grocery shopping? Yes. Oh, so you went grocery shopping so you could eat at home? Yes. Wow! What did you buy at the supermarket? <coughs> what did you buy at the supermarket? I buy some. Um, Vegetables. Did you buy any milk? No. Hmm. You bought some vegetables. What kind of vegetables did you buy, Apple? What kind did you buy? I buy some tomatoes and uh, garbage. Some cabbage? Yes. So cabbage, tomatoes, any carrots? No. No carrots. So no carrots today. Okay. What other kind of foods did you buy? What else did you buy at the grocery store or supermarket? Uh, and I buy some uh, let's see soup. Did you buy any soup in a can? Did you buy some meat? What other kind of foods did you buy? How about rice or noodles? Uh, I buy some meat. Oh, what kind of meat? Did you buy cow meat, chicken meat? What kind of meat did you buy? I buy pork. Wow. So where is pork from? What animal is pork from? It's from pig. Right, from the pig. Do you know what kind of meat comes from the pig? Can you name off the types of meats? Uh, if you don't know, you can say, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so there's pork chop, there's bacon, there's back bacon, there's side bacon, there's regular bacon, there's pig's feet. You guys eat in your country. I've never had them. I don't think I'd ever want to eat them. Sorry. No offense. Not my thing. Um, I know that they sell a lot of the body parts for all different things. Uh, when they when they slaughter a pig and they cut up the pig to sell to the public or maybe a family owns a farm. My aunt and uncle, my grandma, my grandpa owned a big pig farm when I was growing up. And they would send their pigs off to slaughter and they would cut up the pigs and they sometimes you would use the skin for making footballs because the pig skin is very valuable and very durable. Uh, pig's feet, pig's noses, pig ears, pig ears they use for different different things for uh, practicing art and different things for drawing and weird things like that. Um, let's see, what else do they have? Okay, pig insides, ham, ham, you can have ham sandwiches, that's from a pig, bacon, do you like bacon? Uh, yes. 
Bacon's really salty. I don't recommend eating it all the time, but boy, is it ever good with a tomato, uh, bacon, lettuce, a BLT sandwich. It's very good. So you got ham, bacon, side bacon, back bacon. Um, you've got uh, pork chops. You could have pork ribs. You could have a lot of different pork products. So lots of different meats, right? Lots of different meats. Well, that's great. That's good to hear that you went you went grocery shopping. What was your favorite part about going grocery shopping? What did you enjoy the most? What did you enjoy the most, Apple? Uh, I enjoy the in the restaurant. Oh, you like to eat out. You like to eat out the restaurant. Yes. Oh, it's a real treat. It's a treat to go out. I only go out for special occasions. When I go out, I'll go to a place like a like a steakhouse or somewhere that has some really yummy food. And it's nice to be taken care of. What do you like to order at the restaurant? You said some soup? Yes. What else did you have at the restaurant? And uh, I have some uh, beef. Oh, beef. Okay, so you had some cow meat. Did you have a hamburger? No. No, you had a steak? So you could have noodle, meat noodles, like noodles and meat. Is that what you had? Uh, no, I have some rice. Oh, so you had rice with beef? Yes. Mmm, that's yummy. Did you have anything for dessert? No. No, just just a really good meal. So it made you happy? Were you happy after you ate all that yummy food? Yes, I am very happy. That's great. That's very good. And you spent time with your family? Who went out with you for dinner? Who was with you? My mom and my dad. Oh, that's great. Well, you had fun. Do you know the name of the restaurant you went to? Um, I don't know. Could you say in Chinese? Uh, Chao Zhou Hui. Chai Gong Joy? Chao Zhou Hui. Yeah? Wow. Do you know what that means in English? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. You'd have to translate that for me. I don't know either. If the restaurant was Ni Hao, I'd be like, oh, restaurant, hello. <laughs> <laughs> right? I go, restaurant, hello. We went to the hello restaurant. If I knew if a restaurant was named, that'd be funny. All right. So we're going to work on this called things we can do. What do you think things we can do? Give me an example of things we could do. Uh, we can do some exercise. Yeah, we could do some exercise, right? Like skipping, running, uh, playing baseball. What other kind of things can we do? Things we, we can do. We can play the computer games. Yeah, we can play on the computer. How about skateboarding? You, you've been talking about that a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bought a uh, one of those air fryers. Oh, my goodness, amazing. And I've been playing around with cooking different things. So you could cook foods, too. You can make foods. You can eat foods. There's so many different things we can do and explore and try out. All right, do you have free time activities when you are at home? Do you have free time activities? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, can you circle the free time activities that you have tried or know of? Can you circle them on here? Circle all the things you've tried, only the things you've tried, and then we'll talk about them. All right, that's one. Um. Right, great. Any other ones here? Okay. Uh. Play the piano, play the violin, play the recorder. Have you played any of these instruments? Mm, no. Okay. Uh, play tennis? No. No. Play mini golf? No. Okay. So, I uh, play football or soccer. Have you ever played that before? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I'm going to circle all the things that I've done, okay? I've played football. I've played both versions. I've played soccer and I've played regular football. I've played basketball. 
I've played badminton. I've played table tennis. I've played regular tennis. I've played mini golf. I have played the piano. I took some lessons in it. I didn't care for it, but I could play a tune if I want to. Didn't play the violin, but I have played guitar and ukulele. Played Chinese checkers with my grandfather a long, long time ago because he was into Chinese osteopathic medicine. Played Chinese checkers. Uh, no, I don't think I recall playing that. Or maybe I did. Actually, yes, I have. And play the recorder. I have played that. We learned that in like elementary or something. All right. What ones do you want to try? Can you circle the ones you want to try? Hmm. I want to try the table tennis. Okay. Why? Why do you want to play table tennis? I think it's uh, very fun. It yeah. looks fun, doesn't it? You can go into sporting competitions and you can actually win money. And countries around the world have competitions. They have trophies and all kinds of neat, neat um, competitions to win. That's great. Very good. I would like to try playing the violin. I think the violin would be beautiful. Who knows, right? All right. So can you name them all off for me now? Name them for me. Play football. Good. Play, football, play badminton. Play the play table tennis. Good, play, excellent. Play mini golf. Play Chinese checkers. Play Chinese chess. Right. Play Chinese chess. So chess. Chess. Right. Very good. So we have play the piano, play the violin, and play the recorder. Any other musical instruments? Have you played any other musical instruments? Can you think of like drums or something? Uh, uh, can you think of it? Can do you sing at all, Apple? Can you sing? La, 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 la. Can you sing? Yes. Or have you tried to sing? Can you sing by yourself? Uh, no. No. Have you ever tried? Yes. Okay, well, let's hear. I want to hear you sing. Just do something like this. La, 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 la. You try. La, 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 la. There you go. You can sing. Perfect. So it doesn't matter how good, how bad, how, how, eh, oh, we can all sing. It doesn't matter how good we are. We can range our voice. We can sing. So we can sing a song. We can sing anything we want. Um, have you ever played guitar or anything? No. no. I... Okay. Would you want to play guitar? Yes, I want. Hmm, that'd be fun. So you can say, I would like to try playing guitar. I would like to try playing guitar. Right, great job. Perfect. Good. All right, that was excellent. So we just went through all the different free time activities. There's a lot more. Some of the free time activities aren't on here. How about eating? <laughs> eating is a free time activity. When we have the free time, we eat. We can eat, drink water, do different things. So free time activity can apply to things that we can do in our free time. How about drawing? Yes. How about playing toys? How about playing toys? Yes. Or playing with our friends. Those are all free time activities, right? All right. So we have key structures. Can you play board games? Can you make things? What do you think this says? I can play Chinese chess. Play. I can play Chinese chess, Ch right? And and Chinese checkers. Yeah, right. And I can I can play uh, Chinese chess, but I can't play Chinese checkers. So this is a perfect perfect example of what we were talking about before. We can apply that. Um, I can play basketball. But I don't know how to play the violin. So that's an example, right? 
Uh, like you can play basketball, but you don't know how to play table tennis yet because you haven't done it yet, right? So what is another example on here you can you can tell me? What can you tell me? Uh, I can play badminton, but I can't play the piano. Right, great job, very good. I can play the recorder, but I'm not very good at the piano. I mean, if I wanted to really set my mind to it, I'd probably be a very good piano player. I could probably sing and dance. Sing, or sorry, sing and play piano at the same time. All right, so it says, I'm interested in... I'm interested in music. I'm not interested in sport. Right, so it gives you a great range of opinion, right? It shows, it when you're having a conversation with someone, oh, Apple, do you like this? Do you like that? So it gives you a range of opinion, a feeling that you can express, not just saying yes to everything. That's what I see with a lot of the Chinese students. They just agree with everything because they just don't understand. So this is a great, great activity to understand and comprehend what we can do and what we can't do. Did we do this lesson before? Do you remember? No. Wait. No. Okay. It doesn't look familiar to you, right? Yes. Okay, great. So we have little check marks saying, I can do that, or I, I know how to do it, or I don't know how to, right? All right, so what do they say here? What's the, the title of this little board? What do they say? Rainbow Activity uh, Concert. Not concert, this one's center. Good try though. Rainbow Activity Center. Rainbow Activity Center. Right, similar to community or people who are getting together uh, doing like um, free time activities together. So like a community or an area or a building to do something. All right, make things. What kind of things can they make? M models, paper toys. Excellent. Play board games, Chinese chess, Chinese checkers. What kind of ball games can they play? Badminton, table tennis. Right. What other ball games can you think of? Uh, basketball. Yeah, right. What other ones? What other what? ones? Football. How about mini golf? Yes. Yeah, so there's lots of different sports. Play ball games, play sports games, right? You can do all kinds of things. All right, what girl do you want to be? Do you want to be her or do you want to be this girl? I don't even know what their names are. Do you know their names? Uh. Okay, let's say this is you, Apple, and this will be me, okay? So this is Sam and Apple. I'm going to read my part. It'll be in yellow. I can make models, but I can make paper toys. Can you make things, Apple? I can make a model but or paper toys. Right, very good. Paper toys or paper, yeah, paper toys. Uh, sometimes we can call this like uh, like a paper, a paper puppet or paper there's lots of different ones you can say it sounds but paper toys is a good a good one that's a good one or origami or origami is like a paper toy and you can move it and sometimes you can make ducks talk and all kinds of things have you ever made paper toys before apple um, i don't uh, make it uh, you don't remember yes Okay, so you probably maybe in kindergarten or maybe when you were really young, like really, really young, like maybe in your like kindergarten grade one, that kind of thing, when you're really young, we tend to make the paper toys because it's interesting for us to simulate our minds, right? But you can make them at any age. I mean, it's not age restrictive. You could do it anytime you want, right? All right, so the next one, let's see what she says. So I say, Sam says, I can't play Chinese chess. Is that chess or checkers? What is this? It's Chinese checkers. Okay, good. I can't play Chinese checkers or Chinese chess. What can you play? I can play Chinese chess and the Chinese checkers. All right, very good. What activity do you think the girls should play next? What activity do you think they should play next? Uh, Play ball games. 
Maybe, yeah. What would you like to play next? If you had an opportunity to play any of these next, what would you play? I will play ball games too. Why? Why do you like ball games? It is good for me. It's good for you. It's good exercise. It's good for your heart. It's good for, for maintaining our body's form, right? When we get lazy and tired, sometimes our body can get a little fat and overweight. So we want to make sure we maintain ourselves. Sometimes people are bigger and they are very healthy. So it's a very bad stereotype. So it's good to to keep healthy and active. And it's fun. It's fun to have fun with your friends, right? Yes. Right. Great job, Apple. Very good. You have four stars so far. So that's awesome. Very good. Good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're doing a great job. You're very smart. So this is easy, I'm guessing, for you. You struggle with some words here and there, but that's not a big deal. Your comprehension is very good. You understand what I'm saying. So that's good. Do I talk too fast, Apple? No. Do you want me to go slower? No. <laughs> No, I have some students who I know you understand me, but sometimes I think I talk too fast. But it sounds like I'm talking at a normal pace. If I go any slower, it's going to sound funny, isn't it? Let's play together. <laughs> it sounds funny, right? But some students don't understand, and I know you do, so that's different. All right, Sam says, let's play some table tennis together. And what do you say? Good idea. Good idea, right. Why would it be a good idea, Apple? Uh, because... Why do you think it's a good idea to play table tennis or sports in general? Because they, they both can play the table tennis. Yeah, right. It's a team sport and you can have fun with your friends and can make new friends and you can have you can actually have a table tennis and you can play up to four people. You can put tables actually beside each other and you can have a huge competition. It's super fun. Right. That's a great answer. Very good. Very good work. I like that. Great job. Thank you, DJ. Oh, you're welcome. You're doing a very good job today, Apple. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Rainbow Activity Center, join our winter classes. All right, what does Ken say? I'm not interested in sport, but I'm interested in music. I can play the piano, but I want to learn. Right, so what is this word here? What do you think that word says? Sports. Right. So sometimes I don't hear the S is clear, but that's great. I'm not interested in sports, but I'm interested in music. I can't play the piano, but I want to learn. So it shows you the different sports and the different music here that join in the winter classes. So basketball, tennis, football, mini golf. What kind of music are they offering in the uh, winter classes? Piano, violin, uh, recorder, drums. Right. If you were to take a winter class at this school, what class would you pick out of these ones? What would be your classes? Uh, I will go to the basketball class. Okay. So basketball, what else? Anything else? And uh, the drum class. Oh, drums are fun. I have drums in the basement. I used to play drums all the time. It's super loud and fun. Ah, let's see what kind of classes I would like. I already know how to do tennis, but it would be kind of cool to refresh my game. Football, mini golf would be kind of fun to go play as a, as a winter class. Definitely would like to try violin and maybe brush up on my piano. So that might help me a lot. All right, so they say interested and can't. So she's not interested in music, but she is interested in sports. All right, this is Lily. Can you, can you complete what Lily says? I'm not interested in music, but I'm interested in, in sport. I can play tennis, but I want to learn. Right, very good. I'm not interested in music, but I'm interested in sports. I can't play tennis, but I want to learn. Can you read it one more time for me, Apple? I'm not interested in music, 
but I'm interested in sports. I can't play tennis, but I want to learn. Right? Are you interested in music at all? No, I. You don't. You, no, you're not. You don't like music. Yes, I don't like. Do you, do you like to listen to music? Yes, I like. Oh, so you like to listen to it, but you don't want to play it. Yes. But you said you wanted to play drums. Would you want to play drums if you had the opportunity? Yes. Okay, so you are somewhat interested in music. So you can say, "I'm interested in music." I'm interested in music. But you're more interested in sports. I know you like sports more than music, right? Yes. Yeah, like skateboarding and all those kind of different activities.、Um, I like music more than sports, but I enjoy sports too. I like to ride my bike, rollerblade. I like to jump on my moon boots. I like to do a lot of different things. In the summer, I like to do tennis, you know, and different activities. So you can like something more than another thing. That's not a problem. All right, here's、uh, here's Ken. What did he? What does he say? What is he not interested in? Interested in? I am not interested in sports, but I am interested in music. I can play violin, but I want to learn. Right, excellent. That was perfect. Very good English. Yay! Very good. Very good. Thank good. you. You're welcome. Asking others' opinions. Okay, so this boy says this. What does he say? I think both sound in interesting. What do you think? Right. So when you talk, when you're talking about music and sports, you both sound interesting, but you like sports better. What do I think? I think that's great to have an opinion and and express how you feel and what you like and don't like. I think the workshop sounds fun. How about you? So when we look back here at the winter classes, and he's asking this question. Do you think the workshop or classes look like they might be fun, Apple? Does this look fun to you? Yes, it's fun. Would you think sports would be more fun for you than the music? Yes. Right. I think you like being active. If you're sitting a lot, maybe that's really boring for you. Maybe it just doesn't grab your attention. All right. What do you think he's saying here? I think a、uh, cat. Carnival. Sound, sound it out. Carnivals. Carnivals are exciting. What about you? Right. Um. Let's talk about carnivals. Do you know what a carnival is? Do you know what it is? I don't know. Okay. It's like a, a theme park, a traveling circus, a theme park, roller coasters, water slides, all kind of super fun. So carnival could be like clowns, animals. Games, shooting games, getting a stuffed animal. Yay! You won. You throw and you knock down the milk bottles. That kind of thing. So, do you think carnivals or amusement parks are exciting? What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. I think is is、uh, exciting too. Why? Why do you think it's exciting? Because it can do. Uh, a lot of、uh, things. Like what? What could you do? Lots of what kind of things? What kind of lots of things? What kind of things could you do? I can play ball games. Right. What else? Go on the rides. And can swimming. Yeah, you can go swimming. There's all kinds of things, and it depends on the carnival you attend. Like in Winnipeg, we have carnivals. You can go on the rides. You can go on the roller coasters. You can see different attractions. You can do different sporting events. You can go into competitions. For years, I put my art in a carnival or in an exhib exhibition, and I always won first place because I had different artwork from everyone else. But that's great. That's very good. So you can do a lot of different things. You can go and have fun at these carnivals. So that's great. Great job today. Thank you. Very good job, Apple. Very good. Wow. Yay. Thank you.
All right. Well, happy new year to you and your family. And I will see you next time at data. Thank you so much for being my class. And you did an amazing job today. Happy new year too. Happy new year, Apple. And I will see you next time. Here's my cat. Bye, Apple. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for all the hearts and stars too. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye, Apple. Bye, Peter.